What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here. Today I am back with another Destiny 2 video and people it seems as though we have a new energy drink promotion for Destiny. Who remembers the last one? Not the Pop-Tarts one, but the Rockstar one we had I believe before D2 was released, leading up to its release. What were the rewards? Useless armor I don't think anyone even remembers. Do you guys remember the energy drink promotion before that? The Taking King, the Red Bull one, I believe it was for some kind of quest or some shit. If way, people, we have another one in the works. This one again from Rockstar. But hey, before we check out the details, every month, people, I give away a fully customizable controller. To be with a chance of winning, simply drop a like on the video and leave a comment down below. More details at the end of the video, people. Now, I ain't sure when this promotion starts. These cans you may already be able to purchase. And looking at the Rockstar site, linked within the video description, there are eight cans to collect in total. Lord Shax, the Fanatic Savala, the Machinist, Ikora, Hangman, Cade Six and Aldrin. All it states, and we know so far, is collect can calls to win prizes and in-game competition access. Nice, but what are these prizes? Will they be crappy in-game armor gain or something else? In-game competition access, I have no idea what this means. The only kind of competition I know of is PvP and maybe even Gambit. But why would you need to earn access or win access to that? I have no idea, people. It could be a hundred different things at this stage. But whatever the case, people, if you do manage to find some of these uh, cans, these drinks, for the love of everything, do not give yourself a heart attack in drinking them all. Pour the contents down the sink and let these drinks clean out your pipes because at the end of the day, while one drink probably won't hurt you, eight plus cans definitely ain't good for you. Now me personally, I will be looking out for these, but I only plan on buying a few unless it's confirmed they will be for something useful in game, which I highly doubt. But hey, you never know. All eight may unlock a super duper ultra rare exhausted pair of socks. Who knows? But yeah, the more we learn, the better. Okay, so we're going to move on. And for all you speedrunners out there, people who are proud of their raid stats and grinding to become better and faster and so forth, Raid Report has now updated the website to include a speedrun leaderboards for the raids, also adding flawless badges, which is awesome too. If you'd like to see more, Raid Report can be found linked within the video description, people. If that's your thing, do check it out. And lastly, before we end the video, yesterday we got a new pre-order trailer for the Forsaken DLC. Check it out on screen now. This is going to hurt. A lot. Destiny 2 Forsaken available September 4th. Pre-order now and get Cade's exotic stash. Now in this trailer we see some great looking things, especially this armor here which I first thought was a Cade's stash armor, but it's different from the armor we see at the end of the trailer. Either way it looks great, kind of old school, reminds me of them D1 times, I love it. Now besides the great looking armor, the epic looking emote and the amazing Ace of Spades ornament, at the start of the trailer we see Cade lying on the floor with the two bob bits and Aldrin standing over him. When the camera zooms into Aldrin we get a close up of his face. Was I the only one to notice this dude looks taken? Look yeah, I mean I know the awoken have a kind of glow to their skin, sometimes even a slight aura, but this definitely looks more than just that. Look at that Taken sorta, smoky essence, very reminiscent to the Taken for sure. I mean 100% he ain't normally like this, that's a fact. But within this trailer, there's definitely something more to him. I mean I could be just jumping to conclusions, but I mean, just look at it people. Let me know your thoughts down below within that comment section. Has Uldrum been taken? This could I suppose explain the Taken on the Dreaming City. 
their presence there, I believe, hasn't fully been explained yet. So we will see, people, we will see. But on that note, guys, we have come to the end of the video. But before we, in fact, do end the video, every month I give away a fully customizable controller for either Xbox or PlayStation sent anywhere in the world. To be in with a chance of winning it, make sure you are subscribed to the channel, press the like button on this video and leave a comment down below. And follow the Gleam link linked at the top of the video description, people. But on that note, I am out. Thanks, as always, for stopping by, and hopefully I will see you on that next one. Always in the